What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Nations Cup video here today on GT Sport, Gran Turismo Sport. I couldn't think of which one I wanted to show you there, so I had to go for a hybrid of the two. Just perfect. But anyway, uh, we're here today in the Group 1 cars at the Red Bull Ring in the Toyota Hybrid. Uh, Toyota seems to be the go-to car. Uh, it's just much better at managing its energy than uh, basically anything else. So, uh, this is... Basically what everybody's chosen. Now, one thing that I will say straight away is uh, our qualifying position isn't uh, truly indicative of the race pace that we will show later on. But uh, speaking of qualifying, on our final lap now, as uh, our first lap was only good enough to put us P8, I did back off right at the end of it to try and give myself a little bit of track position while still being able to have a toe and as you can see it hasn't really worked because I'm a lot closer to crunch 360 than what I would ideally want so probably screwed myself over a little bit here and this is one thing which I've been trying to learn how to do was trying to do laps on my own as well um, I'm not gonna lie I tried it in uh, the X2014 juniors for the final round of the Nations Cup uh, actually didn't work out too bad, so I don't know, maybe I might have to start doing that more often in future instead of waiting around for everybody else and just go out and do one myself, but uh, anyway, uh, this lap that we're on now, it's been a pretty decent one, I feel like there was a few tenths in it, but uh, it is definitely going to be an improvement, 17.6 is what we're on provisionally, across the line for a 16.6, we end up P6 provisionally, but we end up down in P11, so that is, uh, that's not quite where we want to be. Uh, our good mate Alex all the way up in P4. Now, uh, like the last video I uploaded, probably worth mentioning that we were somewhat working together. Um, obviously in the same chat, so we were feeding each other information and uh, I think working together has really helped the both of us out, and you'll see that in the end result, but uh, anyway, main aim was really to try and get inside the top five. I felt like I had the pace to do that, even though the qualifying pace didn't show it, but uh, hey-ho, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to start on mediums. I made that change last minute, so uh, hopefully we can have a good race, but uh, yeah, I think that's everything I need to say, so let's get into it, and from 11th place, let's see just what we can do. Alright, so here we are, ready to roll at the Red Bull Ring in the Group 1 cars. Now, I know I said I was hoping for a top 5, but uh, I'll play a little spoiler. We we do a lot better on top 5. But anyway, away we go here for the second to last race of this Nations Cup season. Everybody weaving around a little bit on the run up to turn 1. Just trying to get a little bit of tyre temp. As in we go and we all... Uh, oh, that was all a bit weird. Um, I think what happened there was uh, somebody tried to go in, had no grip, and everybody's kind of checked up and it's caused a chain reaction. Somebody has ended up with a penalty up there, so that has completely screwed them over. And again, everybody's still running wide, so tyre temps still stone motherless cold at the moment, really hurting some people. But uh, on the upside for us, we're up to P9 already, so we're up in the top 10 which is what I wanted to do. 
and uh, Oz, there goes um, Iron Mask, he's bottled it out of the right hander, just trying to get the power down, and uh, the back end said no way, and around he goes, so that is his race uh, basically done and dusted before it's even gotten started, so I don't think he'll be too happy with that, but still, 20 lap race, so long way to go, anything could still happen, and uh, yeah, so for us, pretty damn good race start, actually, if I say so myself, uh, up to P8, coming up to lap 4, uh, as you can see, bit of a queue forming here, just ahead of us, ironically our good mate Alex right at uh, the head of it, as I think he actually had half a second penalty to serve, so he now drops down into P7 right in front of us. Now, at this point, uh, I was a bit 50-50 on what to do, because I felt like I could have uh, attacked these guys, but then I felt like, no, I'm just going to save my stuff, I don't want to completely use up these medium tyres, I'm driving to a number, I know what lap I want to go to as well, so that's what I'm doing, is uh, ART Phillips goes up the inside, basically just let him go there, I didn't want to fight him, the last time us two were in a race around here, uh, it didn't end well, so I wasn't in the mood for dealing with that all over again, so I just let him go, but on to the end of lap 7, soft compound runners in the pits now to get those off, uh, presume they're all going to go onto mediums, and probably run the hards at the end, now... This is where, uh, this is the crucial point in the race for the likes of me and Alex in particular, and we knew this. Now, we had to put in the best laps we could right now to make our strategy work, because what we were going to do was, we were going to stay till about lap 9 or lap 10, we were going to come in, do one lap on the hards, and then come straight in, get that off, and then we were going to run softs to the end. Now, the thinking behind that was, uh, Hold on, we've got a yellow flag. Here's one of the leaders spun out. Yes, they have. It's Metal Gear, who has dropped it on the exit of that right-hander. Or I'm going to go out on the limb and say that's what happened. I don't know, but... Uh, man, that is... Um, well, that has screwed his race over uh, big time. So that now leaves Psydog about five and a half seconds uh, clear in the lead. So he'll probably have a comfortable run to the end of this race now. But... Uh, Anyway, into the pits on the end of lap 10. Uh, Alex coming last lap, so I decided to go around again. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see where we end up. Into the pits for hard tyres. No fuel necessary for this race as well. Uh, there's no saving required or anything, so, you know, luckily we didn't have to worry about any of that. But Alex is in the pits right behind us as well, so he's done his one lap on a set of hards. So he's come in, and he's going on the softs now. So he's... Uh, He's done both his stops, he's going to the end, and that is our main aim as well right here. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to go around, finish this lap, we're going to come in, put softs on, and then just go like a bat out of hell for the remaining eight laps, and I don't know, just hope that uh, we can maybe sneak up inside the top five. With Metal Gear's mistake, could we even try and fight for a podium? Uh, I don't know, we'll find out shortly, but into the pits on the end of this lap now, We've done one lap on these hards, so coming in to get them off, they felt absolutely horrible, not going to lie. So uh, I quickly understood why people only did one lap on them, because they were a horrid race tyre. But uh, anyway, back out on soft tyres. There goes Alex as well, so we haven't lost much ground uh, to him there. So, what, about two and a half, three seconds? So, yeah, we're not too far behind at all here, so... Uh, 9 and 10 at the moment is where we stand, but at this point, as I said, everybody's still got to come in for a hard tyre stop, but uh, coming on to lap 16, we get very close to middle gear there, and I think he's on worn hards, so uh, yeah, he wouldn't be having the greatest time right now, but uh, a couple of guys save their pit stops, middle gear sends it up the inside of Lockie there in the Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull Toyota, that's a funny thing to say, but uh, anyway, we're going to try and follow suit here if we can in the slipstream. Are we going to look for a send up the inside? I thought about it, but I decided against it as Lockie runs a little bit wide. Now at this point, uh, I'm thinking I need to get a move on here. I don't want to let Metal Gear get too far away as uh, he runs a little bit wide. So does Lockie, and with the group of the soft tyres, we are just able to drive past. Uh, Lockie on the exit there, 
So that just shows the grip difference that we've got over some of these guys. And uh, yeah, we are, we are looking good for a top five right now. And uh, as you can see, coming on to the end of lap 18, there goes ART Phillips in the pits uh, again, or ART Bradley, I should say. So it looks like he's coming in for hards. Uh, Side Dog has just made his stop for hards. So at the moment, myself and Alex from 4th and 11th on the grid currently sit in 2nd and 4th. So this is a bloody good uh, result for us at the moment. But cutting on to the final lap of the race, we are all still so close. And uh, not going to lie at this point, I was really hoping Metal Gear would have been able to get up to Alex. Maybe slow them both down and I might have been able to steal 2nd. But look at that, Metal Gear with a half a second penalty running a bit too wide on the exit of T1 and a bit wide uh, there at turn 2 as well. So this could be our chance to actually get a podium finish here. He serves the half a second and then we're going to go up the inside now. He doesn't defend that surprisingly. So yeah, that's a little bit unusual but up the inside we go and there we go, P3. So... Uh, wow. Okay, so we're in the podium positions, but the job's not done yet. We've still got to try and hold on to it. With about three corners to go now, Metal Gear still there on the radar. You can still see him. He'll be wanting to try and get this podium spot back. And uh, we're going to have to really work for it. He's in the slipstream now. He looked to the inside, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to leave any room open. He's trying for the switchback. You can see it on the radar. Down into the final corner. This is going to be close. He gives us a hit. In the right rear, but I lay the boot into it, and we are going to come across the line for P3 from 11th on the grid. Oh man, that is honestly one of the best races I have ever had. I really enjoyed that. Um, just a little uh, side note, Metal Gear did actually apologise a little bit later for that contact. Uh, I, I wasn't too fussed if he did or didn't. I mean, it was the final lap, there was a podium on the line. Something like that's going to happen. Alright, so there we have it, guys. That has been the Nations Cup at the Red Bull Ring. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, probably one of the best races that I've ever done. Definitely the best Group 1 race I've ever done. And, uh... Just bringing up the end results for the entire series, as I forgot to screenshot it right after uh, this race. But uh, in the end, we end up P6 in the Oceania region. So I am absolutely bloody stoked with that. Uh, as you can see, 178 points in the final race. Uh, there's not going to be a video on that, to be honest, simply because nothing happened. I was literally on my own for the whole race, so I didn't think it was worth uh, making one because there was nothing to make it on. But uh, anyway, that is all from me today, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for plenty more. And uh, yeah, stay safe during these tough times. Remember, stay at home. And until the next one, I'll catch you all next time.